Hi, I am Basil Assaf and welcome to Pathology Dynamics. Today we will talk about blue tongue disease. Blue tongue is a viral disease caused by double-stranded RNA virus that belongs to the orbivirus genus of the Rioviridae family. The virus is insect-borne, which means it's transmitted by insects, particularly midges of the Culicoides species, and it infects several angulates, primarily sheep and to a lesser extent goats and cattle. All viruses that are transmitted by insects are grouped together Together and called arboviruses, and hence blue tongue virus is an arbovirus as well. And just like many other insect transmitted viruses, there is seasonality of the disease associated with vector availability. After the infected midges by the host and transmit the virus to it, blue tongue virus replicates in blood vessels and lymph nodes, and then spread by blood to other tissues, particularly spleen, lymph node, and lung. And when a new insect feeds on an infected animal, it acquires the virus from the blood and transmit it to a new host. More specifically, Specifically about the pathogenesis, blue tongue virus within the host infects endothelial cells lining blood vessels as well as macrophages. Infection of endothelial cells of blood vessels will eventually cause vasculitis and lead to leakage of blood content in the form of hemorrhage, edema, and fibrin deposition, as we will see shortly under the microscope. All these microscopic changes will result in macroscopic cyanosis, which is the blue discoloration of tissues, which are tongue and mucous membranes of blue tongue disease. And this is how this disease originally got its name, from the blue discoloration of the tongue. Blue tongue virus will also infect macrophages and dendritic cells, which drive a robust inflammation. Here is an example of swollen, protruded, and cyanotic blue tongue, and here is another example. You can also see stomatitis, which is inflammation of the oral cavity, as we see here with reddened, eroded, and ulcerated mucosa with some fibrin deposition. Sheep that are infected with blue tongue virus also show petechial hemorrhage at the base of pulmonary artery. They also develop swelling and reddened coronary band on the feet. The combination of these three gross findings is characteristic and almost pathognomonic of blue tongue that will help differentiate this disease from other sheep diseases affecting mucosal surfaces. Now, let's take a look under the microscope at this tongue section from a sheep and start by reviewing the normal histology of the tongue. The tongue mucosal surface is stratified squamous epithelium, essentially similar to that seen in the skin, but with several taste buds such as this example here and the lack of adnexa that are hair follicles, sweat glands and sebaceous glands. And below the mucosa is the submucosa which contains blood vessels and other structures such as salivary glands. And below that are skeletal muscles and nerves that help the animal and humans of course to move the tongue voluntarily when needed. We said that blue tongue virus infects endothelial cells and this leads to vasculitis accompanied by hemorrhage, edema and fibrin deposition as well as it infects macrophages and dendritic cells which cause robust inflammation. Let's try to find these lesions in this tongue section. The two things you will notice at this low magnification is the hemorrhage and the submucosa and the erosion and ulceration of the mucosal epithelial lining compared to the adjacent area. As we can see here, the mucosal epithelium is eroded in some areas and even completely ulcerated in other regions of the tongue, as in here, completely lacking any epithelium, and instead it is replaced by a thick serocellular crust composed of numerous degenerate and viable neutrophils mixed with necrotic cellular debris, fibrin, and hemorrhage. The adjacent epithelium is multifocally hyperplastic with acanthosis and contain prominent intercellular bridging, that is spongiosis, because of the edema, and variably sized but often large intracytoplasmic vacuoles, and that is hydropic degeneration. And within the affected epithelium, there are variably sized clifts filled with degenerate neutrophils, fibrin, and hemorrhage, and these are hemorrhagic pustules. In the submucosa, as we mentioned, there is abundant hemorrhage with edema and fibrin deposition, admixed with inflammation of macrophages, neutrophils, and lymphocytes. And blood vessels within the submucosa are lined by hypertrophied reactive endothelial cells that are sometimes necrotic, and that is vasculitis. And lymphatics in this section are generally dilated from the edema. The lesion here is called ulcerative glossitis with hemorrhagic pustules, fibrinoid vasculitis with subepithelial hemorrhage and edema. As we mentioned, sheep, goats, and cattle are the most concerned among domestic species 
but the disease can actually occur in many other ruminants, including various wildlife species in North America, such as elk, bison, antelope, and white-tailed deer. Epizootic hemorrhagic disease virus, which affects white-tailed deer in North America, and the Ibaraki strain that affects cattle in Japan, are viruses closely related to blue tongue virus and essentially have similar vascular-based pathogenesis. Blue tongue virus can cause congenital anomalies in newborn lambs, depending on the stage of gestation at infection infection, and it will particularly cause encephalitis and white matter vacuolation. There are many mucosal diseases that affect ruminants, such as foot and mouth disease and bovine viral diarrhea virus, but as we mentioned, the most pathognomonic in blue tongue disease is the combination of tongue cyanosis, hemorrhage at the base of the pulmonary artery, and coronitis. As always in every video, a special thank to the Joint Pathology Center for providing these slide scans. And if you like the video, please click the like button and share it with friends and colleagues who may benefit from it. You can also view previous videos from the channel page. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to receive all new videos. Thank you.